So I'm surprised Lonnie doesn't have his sleeves up for this next story. Right. This is exciting. Because He's been waiting for this. He has been. Early risers tomorrow morning are going to get quite the surprise in the scene when the moon passes between the Earth and the sun. Yes, and the eclipse will create a ring of fire in the sky. Lonnie joins us now with more on when and where we can get the best view of this. All right, well, look, it all comes down to the weather, right? We have to have the skies cooperate. It's a little dicey right now, but in terms of getting the view, I'm going to talk weather in just a bit. In terms of getting the view, you either want to go to some place that you have a nice flat view of the horizon like a beach or if you're here in the city hi guys go up as high as you can rooftops things like that observation deck of the Empire State Building for example if the skies are clear enough that's the if right now but if they are it is definitely worth you getting up super early tomorrow morning Thursday morning could be the sunrise of our lifetime at 524 a.m. the sun will rise as an eclipse. It's a show in the sky. The partial eclipse is so dramatic. You have to look at it safely, but when you do, it looks like the Death Star is moving across the sun. <laughs> No Luke Skywalker here, but the sky is going to be dramatic. A sunrise eclipse like this has only happened twice since the 1800s. This one is an annular eclipse. That simply means the moon is not quite big enough to cover the sun completely. Joe Rayo from the Hayden Planetarium explains it in dollars and cents. Grab a nickel and a penny. Cover up that nickel with the penny. You won't be able to do so. The sun will come up looking like a sickle or a slice of cantaloupe melon, if you will. And we will get a decent view, but Canada will get the best. They're gonna see the moon covering nearly all of the sun, except for that outer edge. Now, if the weather cooperates, our area will get a great show. 80% of the sun covered by the moon, that's more than we saw in 2017. Yeah, you can see that. Great timing. So let's talk about viewing this sunrise eclipse because there's no doubt in my mind, we've all watched sunrises before, right? And we haven't had special glasses on. But when you watch those sunrises, you don't look at it for an extended period of time. This eclipse, you're most likely going to watch longer. So put the glasses on. It's the best thing you can do. If you don't have the glasses, keep it short. Look 5, 10, maybe 15 seconds. Look away. When you're staring at that, the sun is low and you're looking through a lot of atmosphere. And that atmosphere is what's protecting you and why it's easier to look at the sun. But there is still harmful radiation coming from the sun and impacting your eyes. Okay, guys, I know of a number of photographers that are traveling here to the tri-state area because they want to get that epic picture of the skyline of Manhattan with an eclipse rising behind it, right? If you photographers out there happen to sleep in and you miss the epic shot, well, you'll get it on the next one because our next sunrise eclipse will be in 2079. That's 58 years from now, so eat your veggies, everybody. Maybe have that slice of cantaloupe melon that Joe was referring to. And you can tune in tomorrow on CBS2 this morning. It begins at 5 a.m. for live, complete coverage of the eclipse. I will be out there right now. My destination is going to be the shoreline in Connecticut, but it may change depending on the weather, but I'm going to be there. I want to see this. It'll be the first one of my lifetime where I watch an eclipse rise up above the horizon. Mm -hmm. Wow. So will we be able to see this thing? Will the skies it's, be clear? I mean, man, you're, you're right. I'm not okay. Up for I, nothing. I will tell you right now, uh, as of right now, guys, <laughs> I think the, the farther north you go, the yeah. better the shot's going to be. But what is so amazing about this is it's an eclipse that's coming up as a sunrise. So where you, when you see it in the sky and you, you, you get a picture of it, there's no reference. Point. Can you imagine seeing an eclipse behind like the Statue of Liberty? I mean, I it's an amazing thing to see it this low in the atmosphere. Please, if you if you get cooperating weather, check it out. I know, and you know what? Some people can go to their rooftops here yeah. in the city. Mm -hmm. They might be able to get a sneak peek. I hope so. I'm hoping the weather will cooperate.